Paris, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you for having me, Brad. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see how this goes for you. <laughs> Mrs. Harris, uh, uh, how many people do you believe have crossed the borders? <coughs> and... <coughs> Miss, <coughs> Miss Harris. <coughs> Pamela, please. <coughs> Mrs. Vice President, it's a simple question. I'm speaking. Excuse me, I'm speaking. Uh, I, I apologize. <coughs> Well, I'm just gonna say it. She destroyed him! Oh my gosh! Uh, Roy, oh golly, he's so embarrassed. I bet those Republicans are regretting that one. Come along! Come along! Come along! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, there you go. Check it out. Do anybody have buyer's remorse right now? Any of you Democrats, are you regretting this decision that putting Kamala, the first black female, <laughs> to run for president? Huh? Are y'all starting to regret this decision? No? Is it time to panic? No? Okay. All right. Now, do not blame this on the Republicans, okay? We did not choose her. Matter of fact, we had a primary over here on this side. And Donald Trump, fair and square, beat everybody because people voted for him, including myself during the primaries. On your side, you had no choice. They they gave you who you're going to vote for, and that was Kamala. All right? For the four years, the media had been covering and telling lies about how great Joe Biden is while us, normal people, people will realize, saw him deteriorating, he wasn't supposed to be in office. Start your tape right now, because I'm about to tell you the truth. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not a close second. And I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. And you. But the media told the lies over and over and over, and y'all believed it. And then y'all told us that Kamala is the better candidate. Although for the last four years, the media was saying she was horrible. She's the worst VP ever. Vice President Kamala Harris received the worst rating in the history of that NBC poll. She had a negative net rating of 17 in her first two years of office. And then Joe Biden drops out. They pick up Kamala, dust her off, and she's the best ever. But we have to remember, Vice President Harris is one of the most qualified people to run in decades. Look, she was a prosecutor, very effective. And here you guys are, over there, drinking the Kool-Aid. Don't blame us. You know who got to put this ire to? You know who really got to take the blame for this? This guy here. The person who should be applauded is the president who did the most selfless thing that anybody's done since George Washington. And that's true. And so... Anybody, all the machinations that got us there, that's all, none of that's going to be remembered. And it shouldn't be. What should be remembered is the selfless act uh, of, uh, of someone who, you know, it's very hard to let go of power. You know, we know that. We've seen it, you know, all around the world. Uh, and for someone to say, I think there's a better way forward, uh, that's all the credit goes to him, and that's really the truth. And all the rest of it will be long gone and forgotten. And so I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just very proud of where we are in the state of the world right now, which uh, I think many people are surprised by. And I think we're all very excited for the future. Clooney don't have nothing to do with politics. All they do is fundraise for the politicians, and then he comes on, writes a letter, and says. We're not going to go behind Joe Biden. You got to pick somebody else. And then you dumbasses fell for it. No primaries. So Obama, who is Clooney's friend, 
Obama says, you know what, Clooney, you're right. We're going to pick Kamala. And I don't think that Obama wanted Kamala either. But they had nobody else. So, Mr. Clooney is supposed to get all this blame. So, when next time you see this motherfucker, you throw an egg at him. He's the one that made Joe Biden step down. Not Pelosi, not Chuck Schumer, not Obama, this guy. He wrote the letter, gave him a scathing report, as if though he got some weight. And this is extraordinary. Just a few minutes ago, George Clooney has posted an op-ed in the New York Times. I'm going to read a line from it. He says, I love Joe Biden as a, uh, as a senator, as a vice president and president. I consider him a friend and I believe in him, believe in his character, believe in his morals. Uh, but he goes on to say he thinks that they need a new presidential nominee. Wow. I remember just a couple weeks ago, President Biden raced back from Europe to get to Los Angeles for a George Clooney hosted fundraiser where Barack Obama was also there, Bill Clinton was there. Mm -hmm. George Clooney is now saying that after he watched the debate, mm -hmm. he wants a new top of the ticket. That is going to sting here at the White House and also in Wilmington. And remember this, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders came out and says we need to take big money out of politics. At the very top of that to-do list, is the need to get big money out of our political process. Billionaires in both parties should not be able to buy elections, including primary elections. He's talking about Clooney here. Clooney is the one that made Joe Biden step down. Not George Soros, not Mark Zuckerberg, not Elon Musk, this guy here, an actor, and y'all ate it up. And now you're stuck with Kamala. Donald Democrats, Trump Democrats Donald voted. Trump, Donald 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 Trump, and Donald Trump, 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 let's go back to Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Yeah. So. Don't blame us, because we didn't vote for her. She's not in our party. She's not convincing. She not have done no good arguments for us to say, you know what, let's give her a chance. No. She want to give you weed. Oh, cannabis? I just feel strongly people should not be going to jail for smoking weed. And we know historically what that has meant and who has gone to jail. Mm -hmm. Second, I just think we have come to a point where we have to understand that we need to legalize it and, and, and stop criminalizing this behavior. And so, and I've actually, this is not a new position for me. I, I have felt for a long time we need to legalize it. So that's where I am on that. I love it. Well, okay. So all you Democrats out there, you need to look yourself in the mirror. Do you really care about democracy like you say you do? Or you're going to let an actor tell you who you're going to put in office? Shit, that's all I got for you. I'm just a driver. Hit that like button. I'll see you next time.